Hey guys, welcome back to Rick's Flicks. Good to see you all again. Now today, we're gonna do something a little different on the channel, a little different video, just slightly. I'll tell you more up next. Before we begin, we publish theme park videos on this channel all the time. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. Now, normally on the channel, when I do a food review, it's a Rick's quick food review, <laughs> like two minutes. But today we're gonna try something a little different. We're gonna try to do a longer full review of Universal Studios' newest restaurant here at City Walk, Big Fire. Yay! Let's go inside and check it out. So over here by the fire pit, we have the red Adirondack chairs. Is that how you say that? Yes. Perfect. Close enough. Close enough for a country boy. But Nikki is going insane. Look at the tables. The little side tables here are big rocks. Yeah, I'm totally dying to paint those. <laughs> oh my, you should. No, no you shouldn't. That, that might be vandalism. I was like, she so wants to paint this rock. I do, I want to paint it. Oh That's my God. First thing I said when Rick pointed it out, he was like, hey, look at those rocks. And I'm like, ah! I want to paint those. <laughs> Maybe if Universal was smart, they would commission you to paint these rocks here. <laughs> now in full disclosure, we are filming this over a couple nights. I'm bringing Nikki one night, and then one night I'm gonna bring my girls, Caitlin and Courtney, just so we can try a wider variety, a little more of the dishes than if I, we were just here by ourselves. That's right. So here we go, Rick's not so quick food review of <laughs> Big Fire. Uh -huh. Let's start with like the atmosphere, the decor, yeah, it was great in there. It felt like where the cool kids go. Well, they have a lot, the music. They play a lot of like 80s music. Yeah. Nothing like newer than the 80s. And Caitlin described it as the spot where like the cool rich kids from the 80s movies <laughs> would hang out. I would agree. That's pretty good. So it's like, I would say, a modern twist on a lake cabin. Oh yeah, totally. With their use of wood and rock and, um, you know, metal. And each, like, uh, seat, there's like several different seating areas. Yeah. A little bit different from the, each other. Yeah. The main lighting picture, that boat with yeah. the lights hanging down, that is really, really cool. Yeah, it, a lot of drama. <laughs> Brings and, a lot of dramatic. Ugh. So <laughs> to have that sort of that lakeside cabin feel when you go upstairs there's a seating area and there's like games like in shelves so yeah your classic like games you would play if you were visiting the lake and there's like no tv and wi-fi <laughs> exactly to me it felt like the movie the great outdoors you know with dan Aykroyd and john oh, candy yeah, it yeah. kind of gave me that vibe a little bit and another thing to mention is the use of plaid yeah i guess that goes with the overall decor and theming yeah um even like the drink menu is plaid mm -hmm. your little coasters for your drink is plaid but the cool thing is the plaid wall with the lanterns. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, so cool. Very good use of plaid. Uh, yeah, and all of the like the uniforms that all of the different uh, you know attendants wear. Waitresses and wait, wait staff and everybody. Yes, and then the chefs in the back, and then the even, hostess. Yeah, the hostess and everything, and even the cleanup you know crew afterwards. What, what do you call those? Bus boys. Bus boys and girls. Table exactly. busters. Yeah. Men and women. Anyway, um, yeah, they, they were dressed so cute. I'm like. I, I kind of want to buy from that shop. You know, if they had a shop, <laughs> you know, exit through the gift shop, I would shop there. Because it's so cute. I mean, like, yeah, their uniforms are adorable. So, an A plus for the decor <laughs> and atmosphere. A plus plus the music. Yes. Oh, the, even like the table next to us, the lady kept commenting on every song that was <laughs> coming on. Song. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Good, good use of music, guys. Well, and the funny thing is, is I think I was singing along to every song as yeah. well. I, I don't know if I was annoying you, but I was like dancing. Hey, at my table it's the, it's the place for us cool 80 kids show up, you know, hang out. That's right. Uh, one more thing before we get to the actual food, which is the most important thing about our restaurant. Exactly. Uh, they use three woods like to smoke their uh, food with, right? Yes. What are they? Cherry, oak, and pecan. And then you actually asked I asked waitress. about nut allergies. Exactly. And they said that they had done the research ahead of time and that even though it's cooked in the smoke of... A pecan wood. Right. That it won't... People who have nut allergies won't suffer Yeah, because they're not really any. ingesting like the nuts. Exactly. So, so you're all good with the pecan smoke uh, food items. Yeah, you're good with that. Mm -hmm. Now, on to the food. So like I said, this was over a couple nights. Nikki with me tonight. The girls with me the other night. I know. Bonus for him. He gets... 
to go out twice. Let's, let's start with the appetizer you had tonight because you're kind of a connoisseur of this appetizer, the spinach artichoke dip. Yeah, um, okay, so I am kind of, well, why do I have to start? Well, <laughs> I will say, now you get that in a couple different places here. I do. You I get, get it at Confisco's, I, and you like that one. I do. Your favorite of all time is in Mythos. Mythos. That was the best artichoke dip I think I've ever had in my life. And just be honest, you would say this ranks below those two. This yeah, comes in third for you. It does. It does. I like garlic mm -hmm. in it, and it doesn't have any. It felt a little soupy, I guess, is um, how I would describe it. So, for me, it it ranks third in terms of where I get it from yeah, and yeah. So. I would say I would agree with the dip now the bread that they use yes I like the bread best here but yeah. the dip itself I would agree with you yeah the bread is phenomenal they like um mm -hmm. what they toast it yeah it's, um, it's like a good. yeah it's like a French sourdough bread or something it's amazing so when I was here with my girls we had two appetizers we had the bread that came with three different like uh spreads it was just a butter spread, but they loved the butter. They said the butter was awesome. And then it was the herb butter, which they didn't care for as much. But the best was a, a peach marmalade. Yes. And I had some too. It was really good. <laughs> now, the bread itself was okay, but what made it was the peach marmalade. Ah, okay. And the third appetizer to talk about is the best. It is the lamb sliders. And oh my goodness, they were awesome. <laughs> they were so good. If you didn't want an entree, you could come here for the lamb sliders because it also comes with a, um, a potato salad, which the potato salad was pretty good. Not as good as my mom's, but as far as potato salad that I have out in the world, just as good as any of I had. But the lamb slider itself, so, so good. Make it a meal. If you're not like a yeah. big eater, just come here, get the lamb sliders with that uh, potato salad and get yourself a dessert. You're set, I'm telling you. <laughs> And now, on to the main course. Well, you know, not the main course, the entrees. For some people, dessert's the main course. <laughs> I can't use that phrase. Uh, let's start with what the girls had the other night. Okay. Um, Courtney just had, she is so, oh, she is such a picky eater. She got the chicken, the grilled chicken sandwich with just a chicken, no bread or anything. Right. She actually liked it. She would come back here for the grilled chicken. That's uh, saying it, something for her. <laughs> well, she said it's her second favorite other than Uno's. Oh, okay. <laughs> she likes Uno's grilled chicken. So, I mean, if you have a picky eater, the grilled chicken's good. Yeah. Uh, and then Caitlin had the buttermilk fried chicken, which you had the leftovers. Yeah, in fact, because I had to work, I couldn't go yesterday. So they, I was like, well, bring me home something. And they brought me home the leftovers, mm -hmm. but it was really good. Okay. And it reheated really well too. Right, but as far I mean, it's it's fried chicken. There's nothing like outstanding, good oh, or bad about it. Right. I mean, it was still on the bone, which I don't normally eat chicken on the bone. Mm -hmm. Um, and the but the flavor of um that they put on it was really good. Okay. And the um ma the mac and cheese was great. I guess there was like pork in it. Was I that think what so. that was? Yeah. Um, which gave it a nice little smoky flavor, and I I love mac and cheese. Okay. So. So, I'll eat any mac and cheese. So that's what the girls had. Okay, let's continue on with the entree review. Let's go with you, ladies first, before me. I'll, I'll save mine for last. I had two entrees. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, one night, two days. You know, yeah, exactly. Lucky kid. All right, so um, I had the... Beet salad. The beet and because goat you, cheese salad. Because for some salad. reason you love beets. I do. They're so healthy for you. So beets and goat cheese salad with arugula and pomegranates and walnuts on this awesome vinaigrette. And you added grilled chicken. Oh yeah, yeah, I added grilled chicken. So if you don't do the chicken, then obviously it's vegetarian and gluten-free. Right. So, um... You can also add salmon to that. Yeah, it could be salmon as well. It was like having summer in a little bowl, or, or in a great big bowl, I shouldn't say, because it was a huge amount. I couldn't eat it all, and you know me, I can eat. Yes, you can. I can eat a lot. So, uh, yeah, I didn't even, I couldn't finish it, but it was fantastic. The chicken was really tender and um, juicy, and the the salad itself was really, really good. I would definitely come back for it. And that might be okay. my Your go -to favorite. Here? Yeah, that might be my favorite um, salad here. Oh, wow. Well, at like, at, at Universal? All of, Universal. Okay. It was good that to know. good. Because a lot of people out there, I know you're more healthy. You're on the healthy side. Not me so much. Not all the time. Wait till you hear what we had for dessert. <laughs> but no, the only thing I would change or that <clears throat> I wish there was a little bit more goat cheese in it. It was just like a few sprinkles. It didn't feel quite like enough of a balance, but I like goat cheese. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's, so That's the only thing. So you would recommend that? Yeah, I would 
totally would. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now on to me. Okay. Now life is more than hamburgers and hot dogs. <laughs> really? Hot dogs? Yeah. You know, must be only hot dogs. Um, I'm a Florida boy. Both of my entrees were seafood. Yeah. So let's start with yours. The one I had with you okay. was the salmon. Mm -hmm. Now it came with like roasted vegetables and potatoes. The little potatoes were good. I really like those. The salmon was pretty good. I mean, it's not as good as the one I fixed myself. It's <laughs> not Honestly, mine. that Hawaiian uh, herb uh, is yeah. amazing. <laughs> I, fix a, I fix a mean salmon. He does. Um, I say that so often. It was just pretty good. I wouldn't recommend it, I don't think. As far as like out in the real world, if you've eaten a salmon at, let's say, um, the Outback, not the Outback, Longhorn Steakhouse, I like that one better than this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just to be quite honest. Even though, I mean, it's good. You can't really go wrong with salmon. I really love salmon. But I would not come back for the salmon. Okay. How was now, the other one? The other dish, the yeah. barbecued shrimp, I would come back for that. Oh, I I love that so much. It was so good. It was not what I expected. Okay. Um, wow. I was thinking a barbecue shrimp is like, you know, it's, you put barbecue sauce on, you throw it on the grill, <laughs> right, right. maybe wrap it in some bacon, something like that. <laughs> it came in with this Sounds sauce. Fun, it came within this little sauce and it was so, so good. Oh, and I should mention, uh, so it came with coleslaw. I don't eat coleslaw, but it came with this um, cornbread, as did the chicken. You didn't get any leftover of that, did you? No. The cornbread is really good. It's almost like eating cake. It was so moist. Ooh. So I was a little worried about the portion size of the shrimp. I thought it might be small. But when you have the filler food, as my dad used to call it, like the cornbread, so, so good. I I really, really like that barbecue shrimp. So you'd come back for that. that I would come back, back for, here. You would love it. I know you like that shrimp etouffee over there at Bubba Gump's. Oh, I do. That's my favorite. I order you, that every time. You would love, love, love this barbecue shrimp. Ooh, I'll have to try it next time. So, 100%, I recommend that. The salmon, I wouldn't come back for. Okay. I mean, but it's good. I mean, if you're in here, you want like a... The salmon's healthier for you. Yeah. You can have it. It's fine. Uh, but if... Oh, that barbecue shrimp. Ah. And now, on to the main course. Dessert. <laughs> yes. Course dessert. That is how I got the kids to come. Was yeah. one of the desserts here is table side s'mores. But we'll save that for last. Let's talk about your dessert, <laughs> the one we had tonight. The one that I, yeah, we'll put the one I didn't get. Oh my <laughs> yeah. gosh, that I'm they sorry, came you home couldn't. bragging about. I was like, well, thanks. So uh, <laughs> for tonight, we had the baked Alaskan. Yes. Holy cow. I would say that is the best baked Alaska I've ever had in my entire life. No. It was so good. The spongy cake on the bottom, mm -hmm. the um, different ice creams, and I thought it was strawberry, and it wasn't. It was huckleberry. Mm -hmm. So a huckleberry ice cream. Oh, okay. It was like eating heaven. It was awesome. So there you go. <laughs> you can't get a better endorsement than what Nikki just gave you. Well, the only other thing is that they they put the alcohol in it because you're supposed to, you know, light it. Yeah. And it didn't light. It didn't light up that but well. But I it got like, a Spoonful of alcohol. I don't know how the heck that happened, but I was like, woo! <laughs> Thank God I wasn't sitting in an airplane. <laughs> Shooting fire like this dragon in Tygon Alley. <laughs> now, now let's move on. <laughs> let's move on to the table size s'mores. This was how I was able to get Courtney to come here. That's true. Because she true. loves s'mores. Caitlin, you love, the whole family loves s'mores. Yes. Except for probably me. I'm, I not, a, I'm not a big s'mores guy. <laughs> but, uh, so it comes with this Lazy Susan. They light the little fire in front of you, which lasts, it takes a few minutes for it to like get the full fire. Okay. And then you have about five minutes of it being at full flame. Right. And then it starts to die down. Okay. So your top little marshmallow roasting time is about five minutes. But it comes on this Lazy Susan. It has regular marshmallows, uh, regular graham crackers, and then uh, <laughs> like Hershey's chocolate. But then it also has Reese cups and homemade marshmallows. And that's what you said was phenomenal. The, well, Caitlin, really Caitlin loved the homemade marshmallows. One was a vanilla version, one was a chocolate version. She said the chocolate homemade marshmallow tasted like melted uh, chocolate ice cream. Ooh, that's a good so endorsement. So she, right she really, really liked the homemade. Um, and the vanilla ones were her favorite, though. Yes. Yeah. She really loved the homemade stuff. And, and then you guys also said that, like, the store bought type of standard marshmallow mm -hmm. melts faster and better. Yes. So if you're going to make a s'more, use that. Yes, the homemade is a little harder to get, like, melted. Right. Um, but the girls really loved it. 
it's a bit pricey. It comes for two. It's eighteen dollars for two, and then the Ooh. menu. And then the menu said it's nine dollars for an additional guest, which I didn't check if they charged me because I didn't have any of it. Right, and then what does that include? Does that include extra graham crackers and marshmallows? No, or? it didn't. It just it came as, which is another thing. We felt like maybe there wasn't enough Hershey's chocolate mm. or graham crackers. Ah. <laughs> That's so funny. That's like, something, yeah. At the end, now Caitlin did like this. At the end, she was just like roasting marshmallows and putting a melted marshmallow on the peanut butter cup. It's not a Reese cup, my bad. It's a peanut butter cup. It's not like the name brand. Right. But she would melt the marshmallow, put it on the peanut butter cup, which she really, really liked. <laughs> Sounds really good. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's a fun thing to do to have your little fire there and make your little s'mores at the table. Yeah. So it will get your kids into the restaurant. If you're looking for like a more of an upper uh, scaled restaurant or dining experience, but the kids maybe not, entice them with that s'mores. Okay, so let's wrap things up here. I did want to mention probably when I did the editing, I was making sure the prices of the food came up because um, it's kind of pricey. It is. It's a little, yeah. I mean, it's kind of upscale. You know, it is really like the 80s rich kids place. <laughs> uh, seriously, I think Caitlin coined it right there. Yeah. Uh, my the meal I had with the girls, it was with my discount and then added in the tip over hundred dollars. Tonight was a little better. It was just the two of us. And um, I got a salad. Yeah. <laughs> so. And it was sixty-five after the discount and then adding in the tip. Right. So a little costly. Factor that in. It's a, uh, because of that reason I won't come back too often. <laughs> I'm cheap. It's cheap. <laughs> I'm cheap. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on a theme park. I try not to. I try, I'm trying to make this into a career and make some money at it and not spend all my money on food. <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous. I know. So there you go. A good place, I think, if you want a nicer experience. Some of the dishes hit or miss. Yep. You know, some are really good. I, we told you the ones we really liked and we told you the ones that were kind of average. So you make the call. Decide if you want to visit or not. And with that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick Flicks, and now it's time to relax. Actually, before we relax, I've got to do some viewer shout outs. These are the viewers who took the time and visited my coffee page, bought me a cup of coffee or a butter beer recently. Let's start off with the carries. Thank you so much. Enjoy your trip here in November, guys. Next up from the UK, Ian Lewis. Thanks for the support, Ian. And now to another friend of the channel, Jeff Pete 7 I remember that name. Thanks for the support, Jeff Pete 7 Next up, here's a coconut smile to Tanya, Jane, and George. We'll be visiting in July. Have a good time, guys. Another longtime supporter of the channel, Craig, our U.S. Marine friend. Thanks for supporting the channel, and we hope to see you during Halloween Horror Nights. Another big heartfelt thank you to Larry Gans, who will be coming here in Orlando in October. Thanks for supporting the channel, Larry. And lastly for today, Vincent and Sam. They're going to be here in April, next April, for their honeymoon. Have a good time, guys.